folding flippy faced polyhedra. This process will actually fold two different flippy faced polyhedra. The first has 16 faces that can be entirely color changed with eight flips. The second is a cube with six faces and six flips. When folding flippy faced polyhedra, you should use paper that has one color on one side and another color or white on the other side. This first set of folds divides the square into a six by six grid of squares. Begin by folding the paper in half horizontally. Pull the diagonal across one half of the paper. Then unfold back to the square. Pull across a diagonal across the entire square, crossing the previous diagonal. Unfold the paper. The point where the two diagonals cross can be used to divide the paper into thirds. Fold up one edge to touch this point. Fold down this edge to form one sixth. Open and rotate the paper. Fold up the other side to meet the thirds. Fold down to complete all sixths in this direction. Open and turn the paper one quarter turn and repeat all the steps. You should now have a 6x6 six six grid. This next set of steps forms the first faces of the polyhedron. Fold all corners to the center of the paper. This is called a blintz fold. Fold back the center point to meet the existing creases of the central squares. This reveals areas used for part of the faces of the polyhedra. This next set of steps forms the remaining faces. Fold the model in half along the horizontal and unfold. Repeat along the vertical. Fold and unfold. Turn over and fold and unfold along both diagonals. Hold the paper with both hands on the horizontal. Push the horizontal folds inwards from both sides 
This will form what is called a bomb base. Fold one corner so that the outside edge meets the edge of the exposed face. Stick one finger inside the fold you just made with a single edge to the right. Squash the paper flat. Fold down, exposing another face. Fold over to the, along the existing face. Stick in a finger with a single edge along the right hand side. Squash flat. Fold down the tip, exposing another face. Repeat on the other side. Always have a single layer on the right hand side of the crease. Edge meets the exposed face. Open and squash with a single edge on the right. Fold down the tip. Repeat on the other side. Single edge on the right. Pull down the tip. This next set of steps folds the 16 face polyhedron. Fold one side to the right. Fold the outside corners to the center. Turn over and repeat on the other side. One edge to the right, corners to the center. Stick your finger in the center of the model and open up to form a house shape. Turn the model over, pinch two corners to the base of the house together while bringing out the center of the paper. Repeat all along the model. Bring all sides together with the flaps exposed. Notice carefully this shape. There should be a groove along the top faces. There should be a groove along the bottom faces. This is the polyhedron with the additional flaps. We will use these flaps to lock the model.